Well, everybody, as promised, uh, listen to me. For the past couple of decades, our special guest this morning uh, has entertained, enlightened, uplifted so many millions of viewers around the world uh, through her award-winning uh, television show. Uh, but now, as a global uh, media leader, uh, she started her own uh, television network, and it's mm-hmm. called OWN, O-W-N. It is the Oprah Winfrey Network. Well, tonight, uh, she's got a big premiere tonight on OWN, so we're going to find out more about it and what other great shows are on the OWN Network. And for you all that's been sleeping on the OWN Network, we're really going to bring some light on this subject, man. You've yeah. got She's got some oh, fabulous stuff over there, man. She does. Yes. And we want to yes. talk about it this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the show. Our friend, Miss Oprah Winfrey. Oprah, Oprah welcome. Good morning. Miss <laughs> Oprah. Friends of the Steve Harvey Show. Girl, how you how you been? I'm be, I've been really good. I actually have, I'm working ten times as hard as I was on the Oprah Show. I thought I was working hard then, but yeah. the network. Woo! It's like everybody, anybody who's ever birthed a baby uh-huh. knows that anything worth really producing it takes a lot of pain sometimes. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's like birthing a baby or building a business from scratch. You know, wow. it's been great those 25 years, and I realized that I had done that as well as anybody could do it. Master. And wishing you great success as you take it on wow. every Thank day, so Mr. Much. Harvey, coming to my town. Yes, yes. And, and you know what? That was really not where we thought it was going to be. It was actually they were pushing real hard for Connecticut and New York. Oh, really? And then some guy came out the blue and said... What about you, Chicago? Yeah, would you go to Chicago? I said, well, you got to make sure she's gone first. So I, said, <laughs> I ain't going up there getting in that right there. I can't compete with that. Well, she, we think she's gone. Well, you know, it, it, it really was a, well, really well, a great well, decision. Well, good luck with that. I really appreciate it. Hey, let me ask you something. What? Do you miss it, though? Do you miss doing no, the I show? No, I really don't miss it. I wow. really don't miss really? it because I knew that the time had come. You know, I prayed about it. I started praying wow. in the 20th year. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. uh, to be led for when was the right time to mm-hmm. do it. And I wanted to leave while I was still at the top of my game. I wanted to leave, wow. you know, when I felt like I had said all that I could say mm-hmm. on that platform. And, you know, what I'm doing tonight in St. Louis with Iyanla and, uh, and and with T.D. Jakes, which will air in a couple of weeks, we're taping him also today, uh, taking this life class on the road, is the next level for me. I wanted to wow. be able to use my voice, use my life to help people come to the best of themselves. Well, so now, that's really what I'm doing. It's like that that has been my life's mission and what I was using the show for all those years, you know, you have to do many 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 things when you have a contract, but really my mm-hmm. ultimate goal was always just to get people to see the best in themselves and wow. to open their heart space so that they could, you know, become what God intended for all of us to be. So wow. I'm actually getting to do that now. The well, building of I, the network, I got to say, hard, because, you know, <laughs> it's not just one show, which I, I knew how to do my show. Mm-hmm. It's trying to figure out 24-7 what those shows should be. Wow. But I'm going to be all right. Oh, you know what? <laughs> yes. I, and guess what? Yes, yeah, so uh, We really believe that mm-hmm. yeah. because, you know, people can say, and, you know, everybody, I don't care, like you say, when you start out something, you're yeah. going to have your naysayer. Right. But I got to tell you what, you you have a work ethic that's been unmatched in this in this industry, and I don't, I can't imagine you giving up, and I can't imagine you not succeeding. So I, we we wish you well here on Absolutely. the Steve Harvey so Morning much. Show. So and I'll tell you something, you really did do that though for millions of listeners. Uh, what you said you wanted to do, you actually accomplished that in a way that has never been accomplished before, and will probably never be duplicated again. You are one of those once in a lifetime mm. things that comes along, and we were just really privileged to be a part well, of it. Thank y'all so much. So really. tonight, though, what you're doing tonight in St. Louis at the Peabody Opera House yeah. at 8 p.m. tonight with uh, live, we're live, we're live on the air and then skyping people around the world and and it's really you know what it, what my dream was to have the world's biggest classroom. It's really my pulpit. You know? <laughs> yeah. It's my, it, my dream was to have people all over the world skyping in, calling in, uh, and being a part of this exercise in empowerment, an exercise in, you know, opening yourself up to, mm-hmm. you know, so Iyanla's there talking about stopping the pain. I think it's so great. God is so good because, you know, years ago I wanted to syndicate Iyanla. 
and that didn't work out. And so now we're in the process of developing a show for Iyanla for my network. You know, oh, it's, it's, it's that whole thing where, you know, God says it's, you know, right on time. Right, not absolutely. Not when you want it to, mm-hmm. but right. right on time. Yeah. And so, uh, and, uh, you know, we did a pilot with her a couple of weeks ago that's just excellent. So wow. I really, I really feel that it's a part of something bigger than myself, that we get to work together at this time mm-hmm. on the own network, Iyama wow. and I. I think that's great. Now, your other guest is going to be Bishop T.D. Jakes. Bishop T.D. Jakes. That's a great choice. I know him personally, and he's meant a lot in my life. But you're going to really put him out there in a, in a way that he's never been seen by a I lot think of he's other one parts of the, of I think he's a prophet. I wow. think he's a prophet. I, I, I went to his church, and I, he's going to be on next chapter on Easter Sunday, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, that's my new show on OWN on Sunday nights. Uh, nine eight central, and, he, <laughs> and I'm telling you, I went. To, you know, I've been. Tyler Perry had told me for years about him. Right. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I know he's a preacher down in Dallas. I went there. I think he's a prophet. You know, yeah. there are very few times when you hear somebody where you know that 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 those words, that message came from some place bigger than him. Absolutely. Don't you agree? I, yeah, that that describes him perfectly. Because yeah. I've said, I was, tell you a quick story right quick. Over. Yeah. I was sitting with a guy in a pulpit at a church. He was speaking at, while we were in the pulpit is beyond me. <laughs> uh, we were sitting in the pulpit. And, you were in the pulpit. Yeah, yeah, nervous as all get out. <laughs> One of the tightest moments of my life. And I'm sitting there with my buddy, and he don't go to church that much either. And uh, Bishop was preaching and my partner looked over at me and said, hey, man, let me ask you something. And this is quote, unquote, what he said. He from Mississippi. He said, man, as I'm crying. <laughs> I said, yeah, yeah, dog, you crying. He said, man, this dude tripping me out. <laughs> hey, Oprah, can you hang on one second? I'm we want to come back. Second. Okay. All right, cool. We'll be back more with Oprah Winfrey right Oprah. after this, y'all. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Hey, uh, we're, we're back, back, everybody. Mm-hmm. Our special guest is the one and only uh, Miss Oprah Winfrey. Um, Oprah. And don't forget, everybody, that tonight, tonight, it premieres live tonight, Oprah's Life Class, The Tour. Mm-hmm. It's going to be from the St. Louis Peabody Opera House at 8 p.m. I'll be performing there this year, too. Uh, Eastern and Pacific on OWN. Uh, that's Oprah Winfrey Network. And so we're back now. Me and Ayanla and- live. Live. Stage. Yeah. You know what? I like her, too. Oh, yes. Yes. The truth. Love strawberry. Yes. Yes. <laughs> strawberry. I love, just love saying strawberry. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to die right now. <laughs> she can't believe you know her name. Strawberry Girl. Do you know Strawberry Girl was my favorite book growing up as a girl? Did you read Strawberry Girl? Strawberry? Uh-uh. I have to read it. Oh, my gosh. It was my favorite book. When uh-uh. I was a, Lie and say yeah. you read I was it. in the Nancy Drew. I'm sorry. Okay. Nancy I was Drew. not a Nancy Drew girl. I and, was. And Steve don't know what we're talking about. But okay. <laughs> oh, you don't know how true that is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so uh, you know what? I, I've, I've, it, I'm just fascinated about the network. I think that it was such a huge jump to own a network. Yes, that's what, major. Wh- when you when you made huge. the decision, uh, okay, look, I know what your show was about, what you wanted to accomplish. Yes. What do you want to accomplish with your? Network? I wanted to do the same thing with the network, Steve, and. and and do they call you Barry for short? <laughs> <laughs> you can call me whatever. Write the jokes, girl. <laughs> okay. I wanted, I, I wanted to be able to use the platform. For me, it's all about the platform. And this is just one platform. So I am like, I am trying to, I, I have always tried to live in the space of God. My favorite Bible verse is, in God, I move and breathe and have my being. Wow. And so mm-hmm. I am using this platform to try to create an open space, an open field, so that people can 24-7 eventually, it's taking me time to do it, obviously, because it's, it's a network and not one show, that people can come there and see shows that are meaningful, that are fun, that are entertaining, that are inspiring, but that don't tear other people down, wow. that don't make you feel bad about your life, mm-hmm. that don't make you feel like you know, you're worthless, that are mm-hmm. not you know all the stuff that we see in so much reality programming. You know, I'm mm-hmm. not trying to be a Miss Good two shoes i just believe that people want something better deeper and more meaningful in their lives and that's what i'm trying to create with the network and you know you what? know i think programming with black people we have this great show called sweetie pies oh yeah and oh yeah i i i, I, I just went to sweetie pies yesterday and has a banana pudding <laughs> and uh <laughs> 
it's very important for me uh, as an African American businesswoman, entrepreneur, and all the titles that I have and, and, and you know been blessed to, to receive that images that we put out of Black people are positive, strong, enriching images. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, when I was a reporter, I remember when I was a reporter in my early, early, early years in Nashville, Tennessee, and I'd go to people's houses and they'd do a story. And, you know, I was all, even then at 19 and 20 years old, I was always concerned about what the people were going to look like on TV. So I said, said, ma'am, I know your house just burned down half of it, but can you take the rollers out of your hair? Okay, (laughs) come on, Oprah. Come on now. (laughs) Yeah, for real. Yeah. 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 So I think... The way we present ourselves to let people know, you know, my whole thing all all these years has been to show the people that we are more alike than we are different, wow. and that we feel and uh, have pain the same, have sorrows the same, have joys the same. I just recently, uh, just just the other day, I interviewed this girl named Shaquan Dooley. You know, the black woman down in South Carolina who killed her kids. This, it looked like a Susan Smith imitation. Oh right, uh huh, uh huh. I'm interviewing her, and that'll be on this Sunday night on OWN. It was really powerful to be with this young girl who, by the time she's she's 27 years old, had already had three kids and depressed and ends up killing her kids. But at the end of the interview, I said to her, I realize all pain is the same, and what matters in life is what we choose to do with it. You made a bad choice. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know, so, yeah, you onward know, we go. Yeah, you are, and and you know what? Speaking of like dealing with stuff right here, uh, ha, what are your thoughts on the Trayvon Martin case right I now? Because I know you. I am infuriated. There you go. Mm-hmm. I am infuriated. I mean, just last night I was just thinking, what a shame! Not just a tragedy, but a tragedy for him and his family, Trayvon but a shame and a tragedy for a justice system in a country called America in 2012 where that man has not been arrested and questioned. Right. It just is, and we all mm-hmm. know that it is. <laughs> I mean, and, and as every day ticks, I mean, I think this is the 29th or 30th day. Mm-hmm. It's unbelievable to me that that man has not been arrested. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, it's 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 got us sick over here too. You know, I, I I knew you felt that way about it. You know, we we got a lot of pressure going on, but uh, I got I got to tell you something, um, Oprah. Thank you so much for all you've been uh, over the years, and especially with this new endeavor, we want to throw our support behind it here on the Steve Harvey Morning Show. So first of all, we're gonna can start. Can everybody get on? Can y'all just get the own channel? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna, <laughs> we got. That, that's that's yeah. what we're gonna. Can you help us out and get Hey, <laughs> hey, hey! Oh, what we're gonna do is, what? I'm gonna get with a couple cats in radio. Yeah. We're gonna all get together. Yeah. We're gonna make sure everybody asks for own, mm-hmm. and we start TiVoing and watching these very, very special and important programs so we can grow this network together. Yeah. Because if you gonna put all your money behind it to offer a better way of thinking and a better way, better way of viewing ourselves on television, Proving I think we owe it yeah. to you to at least join in and get it and TiVo it to death and watch it. Oh, thank you. Thank right. y'all so much. All right, hey, we'll do You're it, welcome, darling. Don't right. forget everybody. All right, all right, when you come to Chicago, let's hang, okay? <laughs> oh, <laughs> like players. Marjorie heard that. <laughs> when you come to Chicago, let's hang. I'll take you to my favorite restaurant. It's right downtown, right, right there on Chicago Avenue. Okay, I'm not kidding you. No, I'm serious, too. And we need a place to stay, like I told you, off the air. So make a phone call and okay, put right, somebody I'm on it for us. On your Thank behalf. you. Thank you, darling. All right. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Thank bye, you. Bye, 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 bye,